In 1903, Howard Pyle was at the very top of his career. He was the most sought after and respected illustrator in the United States. He worked for a variety of book and magazine publishers. One of these publishers was the Reverend Thomas Frognall Dibden, whose periodical was called The Bibliomania or Book Madness. Pyle was commissioned to paint the front piece for volume two. Pyle chose to paint the learned 13th century English Franciscan monk and philosopher, Roger Bacon who has been credited with being one of the earliest European advocates of the modern scientific method. The painting is done in oil on canvas. We see Friar Bacon deep in thought, an open illuminated manuscript at his feet and another manuscript beside him on a bench. He holds a piece of paper and some form of writing implement in his hand. His monk's cell is dark and somewhat barren. The details of the magnifying stem across the illuminated manuscript and the wonderful details of a pensive and thoughtful face tell the observer that Friar Bacon is a serious academic. Howard Pyle uses a number of techniques to involve us in this image. He uses a strong diagonal, giving the illusion that we are walking into Friar Bacon's space. He uses the color red, in the embers of the fire, the detail on the bench, the manuscript, and Friar Bacon's own red hair to invite our eye to look deeper into the monk's cell. Less defined images appear in the top right corner of the canvas. They appear to be females, perhaps nuns bringing in a bowl of steaming soup. A splash of red on the bowl once again draws our eyes into the action. These cropped off and ill-defined figures give us a sense of movement and action. The detail of Friar Bacon's face leads us to think this is an actual portrait. Howard Pyle believed that an illustrator should paint what he knows. These tenets of the art of illustration can be seen over and over again, not only in the work of Howard Pyle, but also in the work of his most famous student, N.C. Wyatt.